Hi everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how to compare configuration files using Excel. So the reason why I'm doing this is because sometimes when you are troubleshooting an issue and you want to see what was changed or, or the, if there was a change in the configuration or someone made a change, so you probably want to compare the configs, the backup configs with the current configs. And sometimes you cannot just install any, you know, uh, uh, software from the internet. What you can do is use uh, Excel instead. So let's say, I mean, I have the, let me share my screen first. So, oops. So let's say this is the backup config in column A and the current config in column B. So what you can do is just highlight both column A and column B and go to home, conditional formatting, highlight cells, rules, duplicate values, and select unique. So format cells that contain, so unique, so values with, so I'm gonna say red text. Okay, so here we can see that there was a change. Based on the, you know, size of the, the configuration. So the configuration is bigger here. I mean, the size is bigger here and Last configuration change was also in the in the running configurations. And these are the other configuration configurations that were made before the configuration was backup. And you can also uh, filter this. So go to data filter and then sort sort by color. And it, yeah, you can expand your selection, sort, and it will show you. And I will do it. I will do it in column A as well. Sort, sort the color. Continue with the current selection. So here, all the text. I mean, the text in red are the ones that. Uh, was uh, changed before the configs and the configuration was back up. So spanning tree was changed and a interface loopback, I mean loopback zero was changed, was added as well and IP default gateway was added as well. One thing that I noticed is that um, Excel didn't recognize the shutdown from column A because I actually no shut this. Uh, you can see that it was, I mean, the interface Ethernet 0 slash 1 was shut down in the backup config and it was no shut in the current config. And Excel didn't see that. So that's something that you need to double check when you are uh, using this method or yeah method of comparing configuration files so yeah that's it in this video so if you find this video useful please uh, like the video and subscribe if you haven't already or if you haven't yet subscribed and i'll see you on the next one thanks for watching